What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Phil Shocker, the Nancy Network, with our PMC Week 1 Team Phil. If you guys are hyped, leave a like if you haven't already. Subscribe to join the Phil Shocker crew. Excuse me. Real, Phil Shocker. Real Shocker crew today. Could you be filling with the king of the crew? So, we're going to get Stevens. I don't know his team name. We're just going to go by people's names. Um, but we're going to get Stevens in our Week 1 matchup. But this is a very intriguing Week 1 game, but I feel like it's going to be a goes either way type of week game so very much uh, looking forward to this matchup and uh, very looking forward to trying out pretty much a majority of the team that is very new to me but if you guys are hype leave a like if you were like i said leave a like comment share subscribe let's go and get into this matchup so steven's team he's got zero aura klefki crocodile azumarill charizard decidueye galarian Slowking, armaldo dragonite and throw this is roughly a maximum of 10 mons per team, so that's going to be making it a little easier and a little harder to kind of figure some stuff out. And that's kind of what happened in this one. Like, there's at least maybe, there's one guaranteed mon that's not coming, that's Throw. I think Throw makes absolutely no sense. There's the option of Dragonite, which doesn't come in my opinion, but can have the chance to come if it wants to. Armalo has decent chances to come, but I think it doesn't really come at all. And Galarian Slowking is one of those mons I can easily see replaced into this top six you see right there. But I think Zero R makes a lot of sense. Zero R speeds on my team is going to force me to bring choice Scarfers. I think Klefki makes a lot of sense. Klefki with potentially screens could be a bit of a problem as I don't have a real way to remove the screens. So that's going to be something I have to be very careful and very mindful of as well. I think Azumarill comes. I feel like this is a really good... It could become this situation where he could be Sap Sipper Azumarill expecting me to potentially want to have... Like maybe Unburdened Sceptile, but I feel like just Choice Bandit Ozzy would just look so good against me. Because if he gets screens up, he could potentially set up for a Belly Drum Ozzy sweep if he has the right situation going for that. And if he saps it for Ozzy, he's still a bit of a problem, but that's just great prep on his end for that. But I think Charizard has a good shot to come this matchup. Like Charizard's matchup versus me is relatively good, but it does force Charizard to either be one. It either turns to be Power Herb, Solar Beam, or Heavy Duty Boots. Because then, if it's not, if it's Heavy Duty Boots, it can't beat my uh, Kabutops. And Kabutops would hard wall him. Decidueye is something I do probably expect. Um, it's his only, I would think it could be one of the main ways to remove hazards. Um, he does have to be mindful of the fact that I do have Toxic Spikes, so he has to be very, very careful, and I'm very, very mindful of that, so I definitely think he's gonna have to pack Defog on one Mon. I feel like Charizard would be the better target for that, just because, for one, Klefki can have options for Screen, potentially Stab with Thunder Wave and Magnet Rise Slash, and then having maybe Foul Play or something like that. Um, I definitely think, uh, this is why I come in, I think this is why I can play a bit of a more offensive role. Potentially, or a semi-defensive but offensive role, and then Charizard plays pretty much offense slash defense with the uh, defog and stuff like that. So, who knows? <sighs> oh, sorry for my yawning. It's 8 16 a.m. for me, but let's break down the team we have. And uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm a little nervous with this matchup. I felt like my team is relatively not the best here, but I think I got a good chance to win in this match. So let's go break down this team. We have first my Zaku, who I was going to name, by the way. I forgot. I remember his name now for some reason, just randomly. We have Zaku here with Adrenaline Orb, Iron Defense, Root, Thunderbolt, Dazzling Gleam, 136 HP, 56 Defense, Max Special Attack, Modest Nature with 64 Speed. Basically, with this Speed Investment, I am faster than Choice Scarf Crook, which is potentially the fastest thing he has is being Scarfed, I believe. So that's really, really good. We are Iron Defense and Iron Defense and Dual Stab because Dual Stab pretty much is all I really need this matchup. Um, we are packing the Iron Defense because of the fact that we have a little shenanigan trickery we have right here. So basically, we have the Adrenaline Orb because Crocodile has Intimidate. In my personal opinion, I think Intimidate is better to bring versus me than Moxie. Now, why do I say that? Moxie, yes, is good, but you got to look at what I have here that can counter that. I have a Sceptile that comes in on it. The worst he does is knock off to me. That's the worst he can do. I have a I have a Buzzwool that hard wall counters it, unless he's going to click Aerial Ace. And I think in a situation like this, it's knock off, potentially Stealth Rocks, Earthquake, and maybe Aerial Ace if he wants. Because Dual Stab does pretty much go against my team hard, and then the combination of something like Aerial Ace could actually come back and bite me in the butt. <sighs> oh, excuse me. But I definitely think some stuff on my team looks really, really good versus him. 
So, uh, look at it as uh, Zaku, though. Zaku pretty much can just win. If Kurgadao takes at least one chip of damage from something on my team, Dazzling Gleam guarantee knocks it out. And there's chances where I can just click Iron Defense first, and then he comes in on me, and then I get the free, get the free boost. And then Earthquake only at maximum if he's Jolly, which I think he has to be Jolly in this matchup for that reason. With Jolly, he only does about 50-something percent to me. So I can basically just constantly roost off damage. I can honestly just con go on the offense as well, so this is good. I'm next have my boy Frost here, the Glacier, with a very interesting set here. We are running Substitute, Isolate Crash, Iron Defense, High Force Power. Now, this is a weird set, yes, but understand the purpose of the set. We are sub iron defense because once I set up an iron defense, there's nothing on his team that's going to be breaking this. There's really nothing that breaks my sub that's going to be breaking my sub. And plus, if I get my sub off at the right moments, like before Charizard comes in, I get free icicle crash damage. Um, I can go for anything really. Like if Charizard starts getting chipped, icicle crash is really good. But if Charizard's not there, then he actually will struggle to break this thing. Like, legit will struggle to break this thing, which is going to be really, really good for me. I'm pretty sure I outspeed, no speed, uh, slow king, pretty much guaranteeing the speed type of sub. I can iron defense up, I can ice school crash, and then I can high horse power. High horse power it does hit a good majority of the things I do need to hit that ice school crash can't physically hit. The only problem again is if it's Magnet Rise Klefki. I don't know if it's going to be Magnet Rise Klefki. I definitely see dual screens, but I don't know if he brings foul play plus Thunder Wave. I honestly think Thunder Wave is a good good tech move to bring against my team because it's good against stuff that I can take advantage of with speed control and stuff like that but he could just pack the magnet rise and then foul play there's a chance that he could just not pack either and just go dual stab there's a decent chance for that as well but I feel like something like thunder wave is really clutch and I think something like foul play would be really really good for him so who knows but glacier I think can put in a good amount of work it's not gonna win me the game but I think it's gonna be just I'm all that could potentially win me this game here is my boy Steiner, aka Scott Steiner, buying Buzz Bowl here with leftover sub, poison jab, rock slide, and drain punch, 180 in HP, max 220 in attack with Adam in nature, 104 in defense, 4 in the speed. Basically, this is going to guarantee me that I get an attack boost. And what I'm going to be doing here is I hopefully set up a sub in front of something like potentially the Klefki, potentially if he doesn't have Thunder Wave or anything like that. Uh, set this up in front of maybe. Uh, Decidueye is Decidueye can't really do anything unless it's carrying Brave Urge coverage, which there's a decent chance it could. But this is also another one that could pretty much then set in front of a Zero Aura as well. Yes, I do know Zero Aura has player up, but I don't think player up is going to do too much to me, especially when it's not stabbed. But basically, I sub here, and then I can just click Rock Slide on Charizard coming in on me. I can have Drain Punch as my main stab. Drain Punch is really strong against the majority of his team. We do have the Rock Slide also that helps dra check the Dragonite as well, trying to come in and try and Dragonite in front of me. I have Poison Jab there for the Azumarill, so I don't get walled by Azumarill. Drain Punch is neutral on Klefki, so that's another reason why I also went with just Drain Punch instead of Leech Slide. We have next to my boy Titanium, Max HP, Max Attack, 4 in Defense. Bullet Punch, Meteor Mash, and then Headbutt, Rock Slide. Rock Slide is there to potentially counter check any flying types that he has on his team. Meteor Mash is just to plow something else because I'm a clear body. I won't get an attack drop from Intimidate Crook. Because with Meteor Mash, in if I do get the attack raise, Bullet Punch knocks out Crocodile, guaranteed. Zen Headbutt is strong stab as well against the majority of his team as well. Meteor Mash can just plow for his team though. If I get rid of Crook, and if I get get the call, and I can get the call right on the Charizard, then pretty much Metagross just wins essentially because Metagross just can plow for so much of his team. Because there's some of his things that he wants to switch on me, he can't roughly safely switch in on me. So that's gonna be something that's really really good. I'm actually with my boy Geico here running the Unburden and Electric Seeds set, Rock Slide Crunch, Leaf Blade, and Thunder Punch. Now, why am I not running Earthquake to check Klefki? Again, Rock Magnet Rise Klefki has been something I've always seen, and I'm always worried about it. So I'm not going to be worrying. I'm not going to let that set try to fool me again. So we have Rock Slide Crunch, Leaf Blade, and Thunder Punch, 88 in HP, Max Attack, Adamant, 168 in Defense, plus Thunder Punch, if I can keep the terrain up, will do a decent amount of damage to Klefki regardless. And I definitely think this set, physical um, subtile puts in so much work against the majority of his team. Yes, Intimidate would suck, but it's when we would do what we can do. And last but not least, we have my boy Solar Flare here with a very interesting move set here. We have Flame Charge, Facade, Flav, Willow Wisp, and Fire Fang. Just general coverage. We are running enough speed to outspeed Adamant, Max Speed, Mom, Zumarel, and then just run the rest into HP and attack for Max Prowls and just try to hit hard. But that's going to be the team, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe. We'll see you guys later. Bye.